It is Thursday, October 9th. It has been 24 hours since I launched the very first episode in my startup series, and it's actually doing pretty well. Let me check this out. It is a one of 10 saying that it is the number one best performing video out of the past 10 videos that I've uploaded. So hopefully that means people are interested in this documentation, this series that I'm gonna hopefully do, a weekly video documenting the whole startup building process. Back to the main point of the video. It has been 24 hours since the initial launch of the first episode of the startup series. And if you watched that previous video, you know that I am building a tool called Yorbi, where we're trying to create the AI social media marketer. Basically, we wanna be that one-stop shop such that when any company needs to have some social media marketing help, no matter what it is, we are there and we have a bunch of AI automation, AI agents working for you 24 seven to help you grow on social media. A little bit hand wavy, if I'm really being honest, like what does that mean? One of those things that sounds really good in theory, but then you're like, okay, so what, what do you do again exactly? <laughs> um, and we're still figuring that out on a day-by-day -day basis. The very first tool that I'm working on that I also talked about in the previous this episode is basically building out a way for us to help source and hire UGC talent, content creator, social media talent for businesses. So this isn't necessarily gonna be like a public marketplace, but rather this is gonna be like an internal database that we have of really highly vetted creators, social media creators that we know can make good content. And as a result of this, what they need to do is to be able to make a profile, like a pretty in-depth candidate creator profile that links to their various social media profiles and we highlight some of their top performing videos so that whenever a business comes over to us and says, hey, we want to hire some social media marketing talent, we can just quickly do some type of search in our database, find the best creators and negotiate with them, send them offers and hopefully make that hire for that business as soon as possible. So that is what I've been previously working on and I'm still wrapping that up. But yesterday, my co-founder and I, we had a really, really in-depth discussion about what the future is moving forward. And essentially to not get too, too deep in the weeds of it all, because the end state goal of the product is the AI social media marketer, which is, you know, very kind of ambiguous and really encompasses so many different responsibilities. The real question, we know what the end state is of everything that we want to build, but the real question that's still relatively unanswered is what do we build first? And at first we thought, okay, let's do this hiring solution for creators. Like that's why we started off with this like creator profile and stuff like that. The work that I talked about in the previous video, but then we started talking a little bit more about, okay, that's fine. But at the core of it, this type of hiring solution is either going to be a marketplace or a service offering, which are both uh, pretty difficult. Like a marketplace is kind of commonly known as one of the hardest businesses that you can build. Obviously huge payouts if you can, but it's really hard to get started off in the beginning. And then with regarding the service offering, we could definitely make a business that does that, that strictly just works on helping brands and businesses find and hire creators, but that's also not quite pure software and it's not, and it doesn't really feel nearly as scalable as possible. So we had like an hour and a half, two hour long discussion yesterday trying to figure out what is the best path forward and preferably the best path forward for a soft, largely software SaaS based solution moving forward. And I think we ended off our call yesterday, which is like a two hour call saying, what if we're able to create like a very hyper curated model or a tool for content inspiration to help people make as much viral content on social media, essentially more so of like a content coach or a content inspiration tool a content creation tool and focusing on that first rather than focusing on the hiring aspect of it. Essentially my co-founder and I, and then we can find a team to help us do this as well. We scour the internet for all of the most viral social media posts that other businesses are using to market their products on the internet, on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube. And we take all of that data, all the video data, and we feed it into our own custom trained model so that anyone that signs up for our platform when they wanna grow on social media, they can enter in their company details and use us and the videos and the knowledge base that we've created to optimize their video to be as quote unquote viral as possible. Obviously this is kind of tough because virality on social media is never guaranteed and you never know what's gonna happen, but that's kind of the road that we're going down right now. So we ended that call last night after two hours, feeling pretty good that that's the good first step. And then from there, obviously to grow a bigger business, we'll add so many other product offerings, so many features and so many services as well. But for now, that's where we left off uh, last night. But then now in the next 15 or 20 minutes or so, I'm gonna hop on a call with my co-founder and see, is that still the path forward that we wanna go with? Let's see how that call goes. And maybe that'll change the immediate direction of where our first step forward, the first feature, the first tool that we're gonna build to create this all encompassing AI social media marketing manager for startups. Ooh, okay, back after like an hour and a half long call with my co-founder and pretty exhausting, pretty intense, lots of back and forth discussion, um, but 
this is, this is what you got to do. Like building a startup is not for the emotionally weak. It's intense. It's really and emotionally draining and um, time consuming as well. But it's a good call. I think we have a good path forward because at the end, we are just going to move forward with launching the creator hiring platform. That's going to be our initial step forward because we just think it'll be the easiest way to get some type of momentum, momentum some type of new customers to get some revenue. And that's going to help out a lot uh, because momentum is contagious. So that's what we are really optimizing for. But at the end of the day, since we are trying to create like a really pretty large encompassing product that encompasses all the various responsibilities that social media marketers have, at the end, we're going to have to build more and more products and add to our suite of tools. I was kind of thinking of an analogy. And if you're new to this channel, um, um, one company that I really, really love and admire is Post Talk. Not sponsored, by the way. I just love Post Talk, like the product engineer developer tool. I love how they are just like a one stop shop for every developer to come in and like build their tool and build out their product. Essentially, we want to become the Post Talk for marketers, being the one stop shop to give every single tool a marketer would ever possibly need to help grow and market their companies on social media. Um, so that's kind of the vision for now. So we're gonna have to become a multi-product suite of tools. First one we're going with is helping people hire creators. Then after that, we have so many other responsibilities and things that we could build in this space. But we have our first step forward, trying to optimize the time to getting our first customer, our first revenue underneath our company name. That'll be really, really big. So back to the grind, gotta finish out this whole creator profile building portion of it all. And then hopefully we can start onboarding creators maybe early next week. And then once you get more and more creators, onboard some brands and businesses to help uh, hire creators for them. So back to work, time to, time to grind on this bad boy right here. Now, right before I get started on my deep work session to build out this feature, I did wanna talk about the current state of AI and how I currently incorporate it into my day-to-day -day workflow. You know, let's be honest with the state of AI right now. We have all of these incredibly powerful coding agents and AI chats, but they're all stuck in their own little box. I can have AI refactor an entire code base directly in my IDE, but the minute I need to send something to Jira, send a message in Slack, create a new Google Calendar event, I'm the one that has to manually do everything myself. I'm back to juggling five different tabs, copying and pasting text everywhere, and I'm losing my really deep focus. That type of friction kills my productivity, but that is where the sponsor of today's video, Rube.app, comes into play. Rube is basically the super glue layer that connects your AI apps to over 500 different connections. The genius here is that it's not another app that you have to learn, but rather it just plugs in directly into your existing workflow. Whether that's Cursor, VS Code, the Warp app, the Cloud app, whatever you want, it plugs in directly. All you need to do is connect your Rube account to all of your associated accounts, and then install Rube into your AI chat interface of choice, and then you you immediately have access to every single connected app to Rube directly from your AI chat workflow of choice. So now I can say something along the lines of find all of my most recent emails in the past 24 hours, summarize them and mark all the spam as promotion and then make any to-do list items into my Todoist app. Then Rube can literally handle that for you out of the box. It handles all of the authentication and API nonsense behind the scenes and it even has a shared memory layer. So all you need to do is authenticate it once and then it is shared across all of your different connections. If you're tired of being that messenger and middle layer between your AI and the SaaS tools that you use, you definitely need to check this out because now you can stop context switching and instead focus solely on automating. You can click the link in my description down below to check out rube.app. Truly a game changer. Seriously, it's a game changer. And once again, thank you to Rube for sponsoring today's video. So now that Andrew and I both agree that we should still continue to build out this hiring platform as the very first step, the very first feature in our product, the first big feature that we have to build out is some type of way to build out our creator roster. If you watch the startup vlog episode one, you can see me talk more in depth about this feature, but essentially we needed to build out a feature that lets us reach out to creators and ask them if they want to be added to our creator roster. And the reason why we need to build this is so that whenever a brand reaches out to us and says, hey, we want to hire some creators for a marketing campaign, we can then look at their campaign requirements, what type of creators that they're looking for and do some AI mapping and searching amongst our internal creator database and quickly match those creators to those businesses and brands that are interested in them. Now, in the startup vlog episode one, I talked about how I wanted to do this by building out first party integrations using the TikTok API and the Instagram API and let these creators connect their TikTok and Instagram accounts and let us establish a first party integration with them. Now, this is the original plan, but the downside to this is the fact that you have to go through app review from TikTok and from Meta to get approved to use their APIs. And historically, in my experience trying out these APIs in the past, this can take a while. So in episode one, I did apply for app review and interestingly, surprisingly, Meta responded within 24 hours and I got approved first try. Your boy never gets it on the first try. This is the first time I've ever got it on the first try ever in my app building experience. But the 
downside is the fact that TikTok still hasn't responded and it's been almost five or six days to this point and they haven't responded or approved our app or even reviewed it at all. So yes, while I would much prefer using a first party connection directly with TikTok and Instagram, I think that's just gonna take us way too long. And Andrew and I right now, we're optimizing for speed of iteration and speed of launching. And for now, we're just gonna skip the direct first party API integration. We're just gonna add that in later because we need to start building out our creator roster, our creator database immediately right now. So skipping the first party API integration and just going web scraping the old fashioned way. It's not great. I don't love it. I don't want this to be the long term solution. But with building any product or building any business, you're always going to have to do some type of trade off of the short term versus the long term. And right now, the short term speed is really important. So that's why we're going to go with like the old fashioned web scraping route. Creators can enter in their profile, enter in videos, and we'll scrape them and add them to our database. And then later on, once we officially finally get approved by TikTok, then we can officially add that first party integration and life will be a lot better then. All right, so as you can see, I did a little bit of travel. It is currently Saturday morning, pretty early at around like 7 a.m. right now. I had this weekend trip planned to meet up with a couple of friends, uh, and we did, and we're all out hanging out together for the weekend, but it's pretty early in the morning. I'm a pretty early morning person, and before everyone wakes up, I really love doing work. Even on vacation, I always do a little bit of work in the morning before everybody else wakes up. It's like my, my deep work time, like the hours from seven to 10 is when I get the best work done, where no one disturbs me. I'm locked the fuck in, and this is my time right now, and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of work. So, <clears throat> uh, previously, as you know, we are trying to build the social media marketer, like the best tool for social media marketers, AI social media marketer, whatever you wanna call it. I don't really know, we're still working out the finer details. Obviously, this is a lot of engineering work going on, right? And there's a part of me that was a little worried, a little scared, I felt like we were jumping the gun, you know? We don't really have any users or customers yet. And I felt like, oh, we gotta focus on one hero product first, then from there we can figure out what to build next once you start getting some customers for that one initial hero product. But then at the same time, I realize like for software tools and for anything that you build, there's kind of two ways to go about it. You can either do one thing really well, or you can do a bunch of tools all in one that is pretty, pretty good, but not like the best in class. My, one of my favorite startups that I personally use is called Post Talk. This video is not sponsored by them. They are a suite of tools and sure, there might be a better pure play experimentation tool out there. There might be a better pure play user analytics tracking tool out there, but Post Talk strength is the fact that you get all of these tools in just one platform for you. And I've always admired that strategy a lot and that's kind of what I want to be for the marketing angle, the post hog for marketing teams where we can literally encompass all the possible social media marketing tools, maybe even generic marketing tools that a modern marketer would need. Because of that, I think we're gonna try to launch and just really get started with this two tool approach. Number one being this creator hiring marketplace and then number two being this content cheat code tool almost. And actually we just recently hired a part-time software engineer to work with us, a contract and he is helping us build out and just move faster. You know, I've been like the solo developer on this project for the past year and a half, but it's time to start hiring some help and getting some people to help us move faster. So he's coming in. I think he's probably gonna take the lead on the, the marketplace angle, the hiring angle. And I'm currently planning to take the lead on, on the content cheat code tool, like on the content inspo tool. So that is kind of where we are right now. Things are moving fast, lots, lots, lots to build right now. A little overwhelming, not gonna lie. I've never invested this much engineering effort before. I never really hired someone before to work with us. So it feels like we're breaking new ground, like a new frontier we're bursting into, but it's a little scary. But at the same time, it's also pretty exciting as well. So anyways, that was so much talking, so much yapping. I gotta build, uh, cause my friends are gonna wake up in like the next couple of hours. So uh, I'm gonna lock in and get some work done and I'll see you in a little bit. morning. It is currently early, early morning, 7.30 a.m. on Monday, October 13th at the time of filming this. And a pretty crazy weekend, a lot of travel, lots and lots of building. And finally, after many hours, much more hours than I thought spent building, we finally have that feature done where we can start onboarding creators so that we can have this bank, like this database of our 
basically creating our own roster of our internal database of creators such that we can help get them jobs for brands and get brands come on over to us. They ask us for some social media marketing hiring help. We got this list of creators that and vetted, fully vetted creators that we screen every single one. We put them through the test and everything. We review all their videos. We have this list of highly vetted creators that we can help these brands get in touch with and hire them for these brands roles. So not gonna lie, it's a little lame because in my head, it's uh, it's been pretty much functioning for the most part for a while, and it just took a lot longer to get this production ready. And I think it's one of those traps that a lot of devs fall into, where it's like, dude, like I can build this in a day. Shut the fuck up. No, you can't build it in a day. Like the first 80% of building anything is always super easy. It's always that last 20% of like the fine tune improvements. That's always the really hard part that takes a long time. And that's kind of where I've been at for the past two days. Like since last Friday when I started building this app, it's pretty much worked. Like it's been functional, but just wasn't refined like it was a little buggy small bugs here and there the user experience wasn't great it felt a little slow basically friday up until now monday the past three days of grinding has just been performance issues uh refinement ui ux improvements all of that stuff so not a sexy feature by any means not a crazy ai tech forward feature we're literally just building an internal tool that we can help onboard creators and manage them and help get them jobs and stuff like that really not cool could have been an email could have been an excel spreadsheet whatever you want to say but we built it out in-house but it is a necessary feature nonetheless for our overarching vision of creating the ultimate social media marketing tool out there because hiring talent is one of the biggest parts that a social media marketer does so we got that done. I'm gonna go through some product review with my co-founder and then he's gonna start reaching out to creators, getting them onboarded and added into our internal roster. Then the next feature, we are trying to create the ultimate content inspiration, content cheat code tool. That is something that is gonna be pretty exciting. It's gonna be a lot of AI, you already know, agentic AI workflows, whatever you wanna call it, a lot of AI, a lot of cool stuff that we can do there to make AI become really creative and really figure out your brand's voice and vision and using our database of really viral, high performing content, how to help you make good social media marketing content to optimize your chances of going viral. That's gonna be tricky, that's gonna be really fun, and that's gonna be the next really, really big frontier that we're gonna be looking at moving forward. So I think it's a good spot to end the video right here because, and then right when I end this video, I'm gonna start filming the next video because this is a weekly vlog that I'm trying to drop every single week documenting my startup process. So not only for your entertainment, but also just to keep me accountable for building and just staying on top of it and never stop shipping. So that's where I'm at. Gonna be a really big feature to build. A lot of exciting things coming up this week. And if you're interested in seeing that video, then make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get notified when the next one comes out. If you made it all the way to the end here, thanks so much for watching. You're the real one, you're a real homie. That's all I got for today. I'll see you in the next one.